Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s? We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright guys, we are here today with episode number 34 of the South Alabama Jaguars Online Dynasty here on NCAA 14. We're back at home under the lights for another week of primetime football after we had an explosive offensive output in the season opener against Troy. Now we're here taking on Tulane, and I believe it was our old defensive coordinator is who is the head coach. Maybe it was the offensive coordinator. One of our former coordinators is the head coach at Tulane, and so we're going to try and get the win and show them who the top coach in this coaching tree is. But hello everyone and welcome to Lad Peebles Stadium here in Mobile, Alabama. We got some primetime football for you between the South Alabama Jaguars and the Tulane Green Wave. South Alabama comes in 1-0 after absolutely shellacking Troy at home last week in the battle for the belt. And you can see it is Aaron Keene, the former South Alabama, I think it was defensive coordinator, who is now the head coach, coaching his first game at Tulane. And South Alabama going to try and hand their former coordinator the loss in his first career game as a head coach. But Jacob Robertson Jr. going to pick up a gain of nine there. It's enough to move the chains. And on third and ten, Corey Dauphine got nowhere to go. Tyree Turner there to stick him up. The senior ty or the senior defensive tackle, sorry. He's having himself a whale of a senior season so far. Big tackle for loss right there. Tulane's got a punt. First down, they'll give to Minner. Trey Minner going right up the middle for a gain of 13. And Minner, who became the school's all-time leading rusher last week, off to a strong start here in his senior campaign as well. Later on, it's now third and four. Brown back to pass, overthrows his man incomplete. And John Brown went off and tied a couple school records in his collegiate debut last week. Uh, right there, he's going to miss fire. They're going for it on fourth and four. That'll be caught by Zach Crosby and the junior tight end, who's... Replacing Andrew Rinkemeyer this year, had a strong debut last week, made a couple of highlight reel grabs, a couple of big plays, and he's got the fourth down conversion right there to move the chains. So South Alabama marching down the field here on their first drive. It's a second and five from the 24 of Tulane. Brown back to pass, rolling out. He's going to scramble, and he's going to get out of bounds inside the 15. Again, a 10 for Brown right there. First down, South Alabama. Later on, it's now a second and 13 here. 4.03 to go first quarter. Brown throws underneath. That'll be caught by McCray. And Jordan McCray, the senior, is going to pick up a gain of 15. He's going to have a smaller role. He was one of the top three wideouts each of his first two seasons. But here in the senior year, he's been usurped by a couple of the younger guys. And so they're, he's just you know done a nice job of taking his limited snaps and making the most with them, and he hasn't really complained, is right there. Trey Miner will get the handoff. He'll pick up three yards and plow into the end zone, and South Alabama will strike first here. They lead it 7-0 with 329 to go here first quarter. Tulane getting the ball back. They're going to cut that one for a gain of 13. Will Brent Davis, and it's a first down for the Green Wave. Later on, now it's third and 11. Brantley back to pass. Hit as he throws. That'll be incomplete. Jonathan Brantley starting the day one for five. And Tulane's got to punt it again. First down now for South Alabama on their ensuing possession. Brown rolling out. Throws across his body. That'll be caught by Crosby for a gain of 11 along the sideline. Nice grab there by the tight end. It'll move the chains. Later on, it's now a second and 10. Brown back to pass. So it's got his man. It's Kwan Baker. Nice grab right there for Baker. Gain of 13 right there and another first down. But Baker went out, made the grab, shook off the initial contact, and got a couple extra yards. It's now first down from midfield. Brown back to pass. That'll be caught by Hausenbauer. 
And Will Ron Hasenbauer, the redshirt freshman, had one grab last week. He's got a catch right there. Set up a second in inches. Later on, it's now second and five. And Brown's got nowhere to go. He's dropped for a loss of eight by Devin Hamilton. As that will take us to the end of the first quarter. One gone, three to go here in Mobile. And South Alabama with a 7-0 lead over their former coordinator in Tulane. It's a third and 12 here for South Alabama as we begin the second quarter. Brown taking a shot deep. It'll be out of the hands, in and out of the hands of Zach Crosby. Brown 5 of 9 so far today. That's a fourth and 12, and South Alabama would punt it. Brantley going to take this one, and he'll keep it himself. Pick up 15 across midfield. So that'll be a big gain right there. It's first down on second and four here in South Alabama territory again. Sean Gray are going to stick up. Corey Dauphine on the option. That play never had a chance. It's a loss of three. Brantley was met right away. They pitched it out. Grayer stayed home. And there was no chance of a positive gain on that play. Third and seven now for Tulane. Brantley back to pass. Pressure comes. Gets away from one. Still rolling. He's going to be hit and met by Riley Cole. But he's not anywhere near the first down marker. A good job by Brantley to avoid the sack. But not enough for the first down as Riley Cole makes the open field tackle. And on the ensuing South Alabama possession, that pass would be knocked away on third and three. South Alabama would have to punt. And so it's laying in the ball right back right there. It's Dauphine. And he's going to pick up 10 and a two-lane first down. Four carries, 10 yards today for Corey Dauphine. He'll get it again here on second and three. Nice open field tackle right there by Taji Stewart. But Dauphine will still pick up four and move the chains again for the green wave. They're now at the 45. Brantley, look out! Nowhere to go for Jonathan Brantley. That'll be Riley Cole, the junior linebacker, coming up to make the tackle. It's a big-time sack. He just came free. No one picked him up along the offensive line. And again, Tulane stutters on third down in South Alabama territory. They got to punt it. Third and four on the ensuing possession for South Alabama. 301 left first half. That'll be caught by J.K. Way and the true freshman wide out with his second collegiate catch. That'll be a gain of 14 and a big third down conversion. Later on, it's now second and two for midfield. They'll give it to Minner, and Trey Minner will just have enough for the first down on a gain of two. Nine carries, 57 yards in the score today for Minner. Later on, it's now third and seven from the 45. Brown hit as he throws. And that'll be off the hands of men are incomplete. They want him out of the backfield. Fourth and seven. South Alabama's going for it. 57 seconds that first half. Brown back to pass. Caught by Baker. Kawan Baker goes up and grabs it. Last year's Blitnikoff award winner with the big grab right there. So they got two catches so far today. And he has not been the primary focus of the passing attack as he was last year. But he's still coming up with big plays when it matters. And the junior will convert the fourth down right there. They're on south second and two. They'll give to Minner. Trey Minner plowing down to about the one. It'll be first and goal Jaguars. 11 carries, 67 yards from Minner. And they'll give that one to Minner again. He'll get into the end zone for the second time today. So Minner had, I think it was... 13 career rushing touchdowns coming into this season. He's got five already through, well, make that six quarters. A game and a half will be six quarters. He's got five rushing touchdowns this year. And South Alabama with the 14 nothing lead at the break. So, you know, the offense stalled at some point, but the defense has done a nice job pitching this shutout. South Alabama with a second and one here, early third quarter. Minner will get the handoff. Trey Minner going up the middle. He'll pick up six more. Solid gain. Move the change for South Alabama. It's 13 carries, 74 yards for Minner. And it'll be a first down from their own, call it 40. Minner will take this one for a big gain right up the middle. He'll pick up 10 more. The rule, he was a couple inches shy of the first. And so it'll be second in inches, but still a big gain right there for Minner. They give it. Actually, no, they won't. It'll be read option. 
Look like they're going to give it to Minner. The defense bid on it, and Brown will keep it himself on the read option, pick up the first down, slide down after about a five-yard gain. But back into Tulane territory now. Brown rolling out, flings it across his body, deep got a man. It's Zach Crosby down to about the 10. 9 of 17 for 152 yards today is Brown. And nice job setting his feet after he rolled out of the pocket. Flung that ball over the defender and into the hand to Crosby. It'll be first down and 10 from, actually it'll be about the 11. Just shy of the 10, not quite first and goal. Brown rolling out, play action. Throws it across by Caught! Touchdown, Kawan Baker in South Alabama leads it by three scores. What a grab right there by Kawan Baker in the back of the end zone. As Brown rolled out and wow, did he keep two feet did he keep his feet his footing rather right there? As we're gonna take a closer look at this one. You can see he's got a bit of separation on his defender. And he's just going to roll. Brown sees him, throws it to him, and look at that. Thing of beauty right there, the footwork from Quan Baker. That would be a touchdown in the pros. Wow. Unbelievable grab. So after the astounding bit of footwork from the Renning Blitnikoff Award winner. It's now 21 0 South Alabama, and Tulane still can't get anything going on offense. They've had some decent field position and gone into South Alabama territory a few times, but this defense has buckled down, and especially on third downs, uh, Tulane's really had no success there. And it'll be another third and long after the second sack of the day for Riley Cole. It'll be a loss of seven to set up a third and a mile. It'll actually be third and 18. But not too much success for Tulane here on third downs. You gotta like South Alabama's chances to get off the field here on third and very long. Big time sack there for Cole. They want to go to the screen. It'll be caught by Dauphine. And Dauphine going to be brought down after a nine yard gain. But he needed 18. That's still nowhere near the first down. And Tulane will have to punt it away. 11 to go here third quarter South Alabama set to get this football back it'll be caught by McCray McCray gonna move this one to the sideline he'll take it across midfield flag down this could be a face mask and that's indeed what the call will be so tack on 15 more so a decent return already plus 15 yards for the face mask and South Alabama starting at the Tulane 34 that was Devin Han Hamilton, the guilty party there. So great opportunity for South Alabama to step on the gas, put this one away. Brown back to pass, intercepted by Hall. That will be the first, the first career interception here for John Brown. Threw four touchdowns, no picks yesterday. He knew it was going to happen eventually, and here it comes with 3.55 left in the third. Not the greatest decision there by John Brown, but he's still a freshman. He'll learn uh, just a freshman mistake, and now the defense will have to try and buckle down to keep this a comfortable lead here for the Jaguars. And on second and 10, Brantley will scramble for a gain of 19. If Tulane can get a touchdown, they'll be right back in it. This South Alabama offense has struggled a lot more here today than it did in the season opener. So they can get a touchdown as that's a big carry right there for Dauphine. They'll give to Stefan Hutterson. And Bull Barch does a great job to meet him shy of the sticks. It was third and short. It'll be fourth and one. Great, great stop by Barch to stop him in the backfield. And Tulane will have to settle for a three. That is the first points allowed by this defense all season. The seven points Troy scored last week were a defensive touchdown. So those are the first points the South Alabama defense has given up. And that will take us to the end of this third quarter. It's 21-3 South Alabama through three. They're a quarter away from improving to 2-0 on the season. And it's a fourth and seven as we begin this fourth quarter. Brown back to pass. Taking a shot. 
Knocked away, nearly knocked into the hands of Baker, but instead it's incomplete. That ball was underthrown, and it was nearly deflected into the hands of Baker, but instead it's a turnover on downs. And so, again, good starting field position for Tulane. We'll see if they can capitalize this time. Most of the time they have not. First and ten, Brantley trying to scramble. He'll be dropped for a loss of three. Tyree Turner getting in on the sack. That is, I believe, his third of his senior campaign so far. So, a good senior season for the defensive tackle to this point. It'll set up a second down and 13. Third and seven later on, Brantley... Going to Dauphine on the screen, and Riley Cole right there to meet him in the backfield. Loss of one. It'll be fourth and nine, and Riley Cole has come to play here today. Six tackles, three for loss, two sacks, and a big play there on third down to set up fourth and nine. They'll go for it. Brantley hits, he throws, ball comes loose. It's picked up by Grayer, and Sean Grayer will come up with the fumble recovery on fourth and nine. But guess who it was to knock that football loose? None other than Riley Cole. The junior linebacker is having himself a ball game. Six tackles, three tackles for loss, two sacks, now a forced fumble. And South Alabama a chance to try and put this game away. First down, Brown will scramble out of the pocket. He'll step up, pick up 11, and he'll get down with enough to move the chains later on. It's now third and eight from the 39. Brown, they'll throw to McCray on the screen. Jordan McCray will have enough for the first down. Gain of 16 on third and long for McCray. He's got two catches for 31 yards. As we mentioned, a smaller role for McCray this year. No longer one of the top three wideouts. But he's making the most of his limited snaps. Second and 10 here, 436 left. It's still an 18-point South Alabama lead. Baker will make the grab. He'll get popped immediately, but... Hold on to it, still a gain of 11, and that'll be another first down. Uh, the drive would stall, though, and out comes a field goal unit. The kick is good, and so the freshman kicker is 2-for-2 two two so far on field goal tries in his collegiate career. As we've got a studio update, Texas A&M leads number 2, USC 24-17. That is the score about midway through the third quarter in L.A. there. Down to two minutes left, and South Alabama's defense just got to hold on for about another possession. Tulane running out of time, and they're backing up back-to-back -back sacks. First it was Henderson, now it's Sean Grayer coming up. He came free, and, you know, the senior defensive end also having a nice start to a senior campaign as well on the defensive line. Big sack right there, now it's third and 30. Brantley back to pass. Pressure comes. Cole hits. Ball comes loose. It's picked up by Henderson. He's got it down to the 15. And they'll start with it in the red zone. But Riley Cole, have yourself a game. The junior linebacker with his second forced foul on his many drives. And he's been creating havoc all over the field today. It's a third and seven here. 44 seconds left. Minner will take this one up the middle for a gain of seven. That's enough for a first down minute, 115 rushing yards. And here on the final play of the game, they'll give it to McCray. McCray will get in on the screen. So Jordan McCray, the senior, will get a touchdown right there. Nice to see it right there for the senior. And that will put the ribbon on this game. South Alabama wins this one 31-3. Brown, not as great a game as he had last week. He went 13 of 26, 193 yards, two score, one pick. Completed exactly 30% of his passes. Minner, 23 carries, 117 yards, two touchdowns. Average exactly five yards a carry. Baker had five catches for 71 and a score. McCray, three for 34 and a score. Crosby, three for 64. Way and Hausenbauer, a pair of freshman wideouts, each had a catch. And defensively, Riley Cole is your... Story of the game, really, just in general. Nine tackles, eight solo, five for loss, two sacks. Riley Cole had himself a game. Bull Barge also had six tackles. All of his tackles were solo stops. But you're looking at sacks. Cole had four. Henderson, one. Turner and Grayer, one as well. 
So seven total sacks. Four of those belong to Riley Cole. He also had two forced fumbles. Henderson and Greer had the fumble recoveries. And Lewis Hawkins made his only field goal try. He's perfect so far. Two for two in two collegiate attempts. So that'll do it for this one. South Alabama, they show up. Their former coordinator, Aaron King, 31-3. to That'll do it for me. And I will see you guys next time when they take on a top 10 opponent in Mississippi State. Have a great day, everybody.